Good evening, welcome. Uh, Saturday again, hot and spicy. What are we having? Well, we're trying some new, a uh, couple of new things. Um, these sort of they're meant to be battered waffle fries. Nothing amazing about them, but lovely. Uh, these I'm quite excited about because these are tandoori uh, chicken pieces, and uh, oh, the smell is beautiful. These are from Tesco, they're hot and spicy chicken, what do they call them? Chicken pieces or whatever they call them. There's two of them. And these I'm excited about. These are from Morrison's. And these are meant to be extra hot. So we'll see about that. This is the normal flatbread. Um, standard stuff, isn't it? Br uh, drink, St. Hostel. Brewery Tribute Pale Ale, 4.2%, zesty and fresh, so I thought that would be nice with this. Just come out the fridge, and the second bottle, I love this stuff, King Goblin Ruby Beer, 6.6%. Two of them, and you're running down next door's lawn thinking you're an idiot. Oh, is that just me? Oh, it might be just me. And we've got a selection of sauces, so... So we're using Morrison's, Iceland and Tesco. There we go. What's this here? You cat. Right. <laughs> um, what else do I need? Something else I was going to do then. Oh, we're using LSU here then. Um, sauces we're going to use, I'll put a picture or a video, whatever I tell I think is a picture of them in a line, so pause it if you want to look at them or zoom in or something, but you'll see them in a minute. But I'm going to try first one of these, what they say are extra hot from Morrison, so here we go. Mm. Well firstly they're using good chicken. Wow, beautiful, thick chicken, thin crispy coating, and there's a kick there, it's not much, but I can feel it in my mouth, somebody with a normal palate, hot, so they would be, that's a nice, it's just building a bit, that is good, well done Morrison's, I'm glad I, I spotted them by mistake, just by mistake, as I'm passing, Mouth's watering. That's good. Wow, so it says extra hot. Extra, they're hot. Wow. Cheers. That's the weekend for me there. Whew. That is lovely. So how is the weekend going for you? Alright, I hope so. Wherever you are. Let's try one of these. Mm. Lovely. Someone else pinched one of these off the plate. But I never grass on anybody. And there's only two of us living here. Well, four of us. But uh, the other two have got four legs. That is a nice beer. Alright, so we're going to hammer some sauces. Um, oh, hang on. Before we do, I need to try this tandoori. I bought them just for that flavour. I love tandoori. Mm. 
Now these, if I remember, I've got a two or three chilli rating. But there's no heat in them for me at all. Them I'm very, very pleased. So if you go to Morrison's, I think they're in the freezer section. Oh, and it's bonfire night. Hear them. Well, either that or the fella up the road's gone berserk with a gun. Alright, so what are we using? Um, we'll go for some Queen Majesty Cocoa Ghost Hot Sauce. These were sent to me. Made in New York, baby. So good, they named it twice. Oh, what should we have it on? Let's try a bit of tandoori, shall we? Tandoori. There you go. Look at that darkness there. Ooh, lovely. Mmm. Fresh, carefully selected ingredients. Original recipe. Um, was created in collaboration with our friends at Heatonist in Brooklyn, New York. Heat level, very hot. Wow. It's a... Um, It's a tangy taste to it, like a, it's, yeah, it does taste fresh. It's, uh, how can I say, it's now it's kicking in, it's now it's got that heat. It's nice, really nice. So on. I hope you don't find this too boring. It, it's just what I would have. Um, Sometimes I, I'll buy something like that I'm dying to try. Can't just have them on your on their own. I wanted to try these tandoori's. They're hot and spicy, I think I've had them before. I'm not sure that something tells me I've had these, but I can't remember. But uh, and the bread, beer, hot sauces gives me a chance to use my sauces then. So um let's go for this one. This one here. Is 13 angry scorpions, Jekyll and Hyde, aged Maruga scorpion and Chipotle barbecue style hot sauce, freakishly hot. That's that one. It's been a world champion sauce awards in Louisiana, winner of Fiery Food Challenge in Texas. And the winner of the Scovie Awards in New Mexico. Nine calories. Never mind the calories. Oh, this smells hot. Yeah, so now that's coming in. So we're going to add some more. And that'll add to this. Put slightly more on that. Certainly taste them. Them peppers. Let me put the ones I've used one side for me. Extra hot salsa picante, 
chili habanero. I got this on Amazon, I think, through Mark Williams. He tried these, says nice. I, I noticed um, about this before. See now, the heat from them two sauces is starting to build. So you wouldn't do this if you didn't like heat, adding different hot sauces really. But uh, it's something I enjoy doing. Mm. I forgot about lovely. That is nice. So now it's adding to them too. Slow coming out. Mm. That is nice. Um, oh, let's have a. Well, this stuff surprised me. You want to see me try this on camera? Um, in a hot and spicy, I think. But if not, I've I've had it in there uh, from the Denby Plum Festival. Honey. Hot fire honey, Welsh honey infused with Welsh chilies. So it's a double whammy, and it must be good. Yeah. Chicken, honey, and chilies go so well together, and it does have a kick. So the first hit, honey sweetness. Then you're getting the chicken obviously, now they're sweet, it's still sweet, and then just as you're sort of finishing chewing, it's time to get this, but I did have heat in my mouth before, so it's not as, it's not as um, prominent shall we say, but it's lovely, really nice. So. We'll go. I'll tell you, I'm going to try this one. No label. This is homemade by a friend of mine I deliver to who also likes heat um, and his wife. So we're going to try that. And he give me, kindly give me a bottle. His name is Paul. So he's got to be a decent fella. He's made this with some Reaper Habanero, I think. Um, he's put pineapple in it and um, done it all together, made it and pressed it, and and the um, what do you call it? Um, oh, I can't get the word strained it if you like, strained it and you get the sauce left. Now what I found about this was, because I have had a, oh, the smell is gorgeous, um, from the bottle, um, to think it's homemade, wait a minute, it's, a, it's a good chicken you know. So, I'm gonna, it's quite thin so you have to be careful, there you go. Mm. Straight away, pineapple, like a sweetness. That goes well, actually. And then you get the heat from the chilies. Really nice. So, nothing. Complex. Those chilies giving that heat. The sweetness of the pineapple is lovely. It's 
trouble with that, I can't leave it alone. So I don't, I don't know. So I've had to behave myself. Um, this, oh, these were lovely. Maggie's, another one from the Denby Plum Festival, uh, medium heat. The flavours on these is absolutely stunning. For flavour, I mean, flavour first. Oof. Um, try a tandoori. Never tried on a tandoori. This particular sauce, I did have a hotter version. Gone. Mm. So there's roast, roast peppers in that. Hot and sweet chilli sauce medium. Um, white wine vinegar. Scotch bonnet peppers. Am I getting a scotch bonnet there? Mm. Oh, I just can't get over the, the flavour. Just a. I'm going to put it just like a flavour some sauce. And then it gives you a bit of a kick. Not over there, that's not hot, hot. But it's, it's more flavoursome for me, I find. Um, I could have another. Mm. Anyway, giving it jibber jabber. What are you having? Um, I'll put a link underneath. So if any of you are having a meal you've made or you go out, um, I'll put a link to the um, Paul H. Hot and Spicy Facebook group if you want to join it. There's about 30 members there now and they share um, different pictures of well, their food, their sauces, their spices, curries, breakfasts, it doesn't have to be spicy food, it can be whatever, as long as it's, um, you know, food that looks nice or whatever, or you're proud of it. Um, yeah, take a photo of it and stick it in. This is, this video will probably be shared on there. These are lovely. If I wasn't having these hot sauces, not that it matters, I could do it. I'd smother them in salt and vinegar. <sighs> What's the pair of teeth? You having? These um, fireworks were going off earlier. Uh, quite loud and um, Millie the cat oh very boisterous not scared of nothing but she doesn't like the wind to not that she goes out but doesn't like anything too windy and fireworks are that straight under the settee couch or whatever you call it <laughs> Alice, the other one, couldn't give her monkeys. These I'm very impressed with. Um, well, what am I use now? Two or oh, these two? So we'll go now with this um, Sainsbury's. This now. Now these sauces are okay, but once you've tried things like this Maggie's. And like a homemade, if it's done right, and stuff like this. You have a job to beat them. But, 
these do the trick. Um, no, I tell you what, let's put it on that hot, hot the extra hot um, Morrison's. So this is extremely hot. I don't know if you can see this. Um, it might be better pausing the beginning with a photo or when I put the photo. Scotch bonnet and habanero pepper sauce. Um, it's got a six chili rating. So and it's almost the same colour as this. Now that scotch bonnet. And that must be yeah, habanero, so it's a nice mixture actually. Let's try that with a bit of tandoori. Yeah. Love trying these things. See the tandoori bit. What I find, as I say, doing this, you, your mouth's on fire because you've added from different hot ones, not so hot, but it all builds because you're eating one after the other. You see some, we'll have a hot sauce, maybe a new one out, and they'll try it, a couple of tries, give their verdict, heat, flavour, um, which is fine, that's a good way of reviewing a sauce, isn't it? But, when you combine sauces, you get so many flavours. And the hot ones linger, and then you add a bit more, as I say, and then it just builds up this uh, heat, if you like that sort of thing. But as you know, I'm not too keen on heat, so uh, I tend to take my time. Mm -hmm. Dinner tomorrow is going to be a pork steaks roasted, roast potatoes done in beef dripping. Mm. Uh, actually, here's a clip of them ready. I may have shown you before. If I have, so I apologise. If you're new, this is what my roast potatoes look like and uh, how they sound. Would you try them? <laughs> Lovely, can't beat it. And with them, so pork steak, roast potatoes, um, green beans and broccoli stems whatever they are well stems of broccoli and uh, gravy lashentos of so that's that fifth of november One final. You may be watching this after you've been to the old bonfire uh, fireworks if you've got children, especially. Well, it depends where you are in the world, I suppose, what, what time it is. If you're watching this Sunday, well, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> One more. Am I going on? Um, oh.
Right. Is this the hottest till the last? With black garlic. Oh, extra hot Carolina Reaper. Holy smoke. Yeah. Oh, I can smell that reaper. See that? There you can see you can hear where I dropped the damn thing. Straight away. Garlic. Lovely that. So first try, garlic straight away. So that's the black garlic. And then the reaper's kicking in. It's a hot sauce. Uh, how can I say this? Obviously the more you have it, of it, uh, the hotter it'll get. It'll build up, but uh, I've, had, I've had hotter. Reapers. I'm trying to think the But it's a good sauce if you want it hot. I mean if you don't like heat it's gonna be severe, isn't it? You don't bother with it, but if you like a kick, that's got a good kick, but I like the fact that garlic came first before the heat builds up, I suppose they <laughs> gives you a chance to taste the <laughs> taste the damn thing. Right, I'm going to leave you to it. Thanks for watching. Sorry to go on. Uh, just something different. I don't have just a collection of shaving soaps and stuff. I've got a collection of sauces. But uh, with these things, I do have to adhere to sort of times and dates, you know, so they do run out. Yeah, but very nice. Each one has their own unique thing. Uh, so really enjoyable. I'll leave these go cold now. These chicken. And, you know, up till... Well, until I go to bed, I suppose. I'll finish with these. A few more of them. I'll just nip in them. Because, I, as I said before, I eat them cold. I don't mind. Lovely. Right, if you follow me and Paul H, see in the morning. Um, I think we're home tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, because we've been going out the last few Sundays together. Um, you know, going out, we've been doing a lot of filming over the last uh, week or two, which you will have seen in the uh, autumn video. Yeah, really nice. So, uh Thanks for watching that as well. So, all the best. I'll see you in the morning on the other if you follow me. If not, see you in the next video. Um, there is one going up. and I'm saying this now, it probably might have gone up, has it? Anyway, I don't know. By the time I do this, um, it's either... Have I released it publicly? It's either been up or it will be up. Uh, another little... Uh, Another little outing we filmed. So, um, yeah, I'll leave you to it. All the best. Take care and bye bye. Poke me, I am then. Mmm.